you will be fully engaged throughout this program and you will not be bored. I'll get back to that in a moment. I have two brothers who are lawyers. I am not. And I told them earlier this week, I'm speaking to 300 lawyers on Thursday, and they said, we may not see you on Friday. They said, we're very cynical by nature. And I said, I don't agree. And I want to disarm, disband that cynicism this moment. So with no further ado, please do me a favor. Put everything down. And I'd like you, stay with me here, to join hands with the person next to you, whether you know them or not. <laughs> You think I'm kidding, I'll call you up here if you don't have the courage to do it. Just for a moment, join hands with the person next to you. <clears throat> okay, now, what I'd like you to do is very important. We're gonna talk about human communication, the human capital. You are in the relationship business first. What I'd like you to do is look at someone. Hey, what, what is this? Come on, join hands. Look at someone close to you at your table and say, look them in the eyes right now, go ahead and say, I've always loved you. <laughs> Please. What? What, you are cynical, what's going on? All right, so I'm kidding around. I see that guy right back there in the blue shirt. He's got one guy by the hand and he's still checking his Blackberry. <laughs> this being an international conference, if you think about it, we have a different approach. We practice different law. You do. You have different leadership styles. You learn in different ways. But what is the common language we all speak? And I think all of us hit on just about all of these. Number five is really big by the way, with the upcoming generation. They want ownership more than ever. Many of us, we grew up and you, you put your time in. You put your dues in. Then you earn the right. They want ownership right away. It's a free agent market. We'll be talking about that. And then I think ultimately we want to make a difference. So here's a question for you, just curious. How many of you, by show of hands, I will not call on you individually, think that you are approachable? Raise your hand, please. OK, sir, right here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I asked a guy this out in San Jose, California two years ago. I said, do you think you're approachable, Bob? And he said, yeah, I'm approachable. What's your point? <laughs> How are you at remembering people's names? Ladies and gentlemen, I fear the energy of vulnerability right now. By show of hands, quick survey here. You get a lot of findings from public audiences. How many of you would fall under not so hot or brutal? Raise your hand. Now look around, keep it up. Okay, put your hand down. And there's a lot of things you can't control. This is something we can. And I'm forever perplexed by why we're bad at remembering people's names. We're gonna get into that today because that is important. I've seen it make a $460 million swing influence on business. The importance of names. By the way, I was once introduced and just, by the way, beautiful pronunciation of my name, Ken. My name is Joe Takish, and it's pronounced Takish. Say that with me. Takish, right? Now this isn't about me, it's about you, but let me tell you, I was introduced 12 years ago as a keynote speaker to 500 people like this, true story. Ladies and gentlemen, our keynote speaker this morning is Joe Tackass. <laughs> and for the ensuing years of therapy, <laughs> I've wondered why. Why did he call me Tackass? He could have come up with a, a whole bunch of pronunciations that were different. How many of you have a difficult name to spell? How many of you have a difficult name to pronounce? How many of you will not raise your hand no matter what I ask? 